Hi everyone, Amanda Hartman here, speech pathologist. Now, do you have some kids that find a favourite book and want to read it again and again? There's no problem with that. We really encourage you to read favourite books as many times as you want. But I've started doing a strategy with some of my friends for ages where we save some of our favourite books into our Proloquo to go, like this. Cow in boat. Cow in a boat from the Moo Cow Kung Fu Cow so that I can retell the story later and I can retell the story as many times as I like. So I just wanted to show you the process of how I did that today. So we're going to look at my iPad screen now and work on that together. The example I just gave you I put in my activities folder and it's the Moo Cow Kung Fu Cow. You can see I've taken photos of the book and we've saved some sentences onto each button. Cow and boat. This morning when I read the book in my live video, we wrote this sentence together. Happy birthday to you, cow. So, let's make a activity folder for a new book so that we can retell some of the favourite pages from our book later. I navigate to my activities folder and then I push the edit pencil to enter edit mode. Now, I'm going to push on the right side of the add button so that I can add a new folder. This time, instead of picking a template, I'm going to create a page with no template, just so that I can save the pages from my book. And then I click Next. I need to give my folder a name. And the name of the book we're doing is, There's a Bear on My Chair. And I can also click and I can click on my picture options and take a picture to open my camera and take a photo of the book cover. That's good enough. Use photo. Now I have made a folder for my new book, There's a Bear on My Chair. Now, I would read through the book and this is a book about a bear sitting on a mouse's chair. Let's hit done to exit edit mode. So I might model uh oh, something is not, not good. Good. Not good. Not good. I can see I things. See. Animals. There's a bear. Bear. And he is on, on things. Animals. He's on the mouse's chair. Mouse. mouse looks a bit bad. He bad. That's a bad idea, bear. So I might read the book as normal and model. He's saying, get. Off get my chair, get off. off my chair. Get off. And then when I find something that I want to write, I could write a sentence like this. I could say, Mouse, Mouse wants want bear, bear to get off, get off the, the furniture chair. Chair. Mouse wants bear, Mouse to want get, bear off get off the, the chair. chair. Now this sentence that you've written together might be one word, two words, three words or a whole sentence depending on your learner and their language needs and your learner might write some of the words or you might write it together. There's lots of ways to compose that sentence up into the top message window. Once I have the sentence in my top message window, I'm going to navigate to my books folder. Here it is. At the moment it's blank. There's nothing there. So, to add anything that's up in my top message window, I can click the tools pop-up down in the bottom left corner. I've got a button that says add. When I click add, it allows me to add the text from the message window onto a single button. So now I'm going to take a photo from the book so that we remember. Let's take a picture. Where is it? Oopsie. Here we go. Let's take a photo of the mouse saying, get off my chair. I can resize the photo if I need to and then say, use the photo and done. Now you can see the mouse wants mouse to get, off, bear, get the off the chair. chair. The last thing I can change in the settings are the folder options for this folder. At the moment, I can just see a single button. But if I want to put things in a list like I did in my other folder, I go into edit mode 
and instead of looking at the button options, I look at the folder options. And here I can change the display style to, dis to list view. Now my buttons or all the pages of my favorite pages in the book are listed down the page. If I want them to be bigger, I can change the grid size for just this page to be two by two. Then I have a bigger picture and I have my text nice and big. If it's too big, of course, I can edit it, but I think that looks fine for now. I click done to exit edit mode, and now you can see Mouse wants Mouse the bear, want bear get, get off, off the chair. chair. Get off bear. Wow, that is a very describing word. That is a very fun, fun. book. Oh, I wonder, what do you think? think. Do you think do bear you will get off? Will get I wonder. off. You'll have to read some more of the book to more. find out. But as we go, we can save some of the pages onto our new There's a Bear on My Chair activity folder for the book. The great thing about this strategy is that I can come back later and I can reread the same book again and add more pages to my book. The important part is that you write the sentences together. All right. Well, have fun now. Bye.